is from Sanskrit. So that itself indicates Pani Kiri is originated in India. And in the, even in Saitiri Upanishad, there is a mention about five kosha, like Annamaya kosha, Pranamaya kosha, Manomaya kosha, Vijnanamaya kosha, Anandamaya kosha. When we say Annamaya kosha, it is a physical body. Pranamaya kosha is about the energy body, what we are talking about, the Pani Kiri. It's about energy body. This energy body surrounds the physical body in the shape of the physical body and different person will have different amount of prana or aura surrounding his body starting from 6 inches to 1 foot, 1 meter, even up to 3 meter. Sir is talking about aura of a guru. He may be having a, an aura about 10 meters. Gautam Buddha had an aura of about 18 kilometers. People who are surrounded by 18 kilometers, wherever the Gautam Buddha sits and uh, gives his discourses, people around 18 kilometer radius use it to affect and they lose all their ego problems. They forget their animosity, even animals. That was the prana and its influence, aura and its influence in our mythology. And here, it is no touch, no medicine therapy. Because when we say the aura or the bioplasmic body or the pranic body, we can take the photograph of this pranic body with the help of Kirlian photography. Two scientists from Russia in 1937, they devised a camera to take the photograph of energy body. Before healing and after healing, you take the photograph and see how the energy body. So there is a clear indication, just like we take the scanning results and all that. Here also we can see the difference in the density of the pranic body before healing and after healing. So in general, this aura or the energy body directly related to the physical health of the physical body. We concentrate more on Annamaya Kosha and then comes the Pranamaya Kosha. These are the two Koshas where we can regulate them. The other three like Manomaya Kosha, Vijnanamaya Kosha, Anandamaya Kosha, direct control, no. But if these two are perfectly maintained, Annamaya Kosha and Manomaya Kosha are perfectly maintained, the health of the other three are automatic. So how to maintain this Annamaya Kosha and Pranamaya Kosha? So Pranamaya Kosha and Annamaya Kosha, the physical body and the pranic body always works in tandem. If something happens to your physical body, that can be seen in the energy body. If something happens in the energy body because of your thought process, thought process can change the energy body. That will affect the physical body. That's called, now we call it as a psychosomatic disease. When you are not able to think properly, when you are worried, when you are stressed out, that will affect the energy body and in turn that will affect the physical body. The repeated continuous pressure or the stress create a physical problem, physical ailment. Whatever the medicine that you take for the physical problem, you are taking medicine only on the effect. The cause is in the mind. That's why many cases you take medicine, you will get some relief because you think that, you think that, yeah, this medicine may cure my problem. During the medication, you get some relief. Once you stop the medication, problem recurs. Because the origin is in the mind, not in the body. So what to do?